Yeah, you know, when I saw this story, the first thing I thought was, yeah, I don't know if it, you've, you've probably noticed this as well, right? Politicians always say we're going to close the loopholes, we're going to close the loopholes. And yet the loopholes never seem to get closed, right? It's sort of a mystery. Why do they say it, but they don't do it? But, um, you know, when we see people like Tony Blair, and to be honest, it's not just Tony Blair, also David Cameron, George Osborne, Nick Clegg, all of these guys, when they finished working um, in politics, they went straight away and got multi-million pound jobs working for huge corporations. So, you know, when they're in office, if they're thinking, well, after this, I'm going to go and get paid 10 million pounds. I think David Cameron made about 10 million dollars, it might have been, at Greensill. If they think, well, I'm going to make 10 million dollars straight away when I leave here, are they going to close tax loopholes for millionaires and billionaires? I think this sort of tells us why. And then when you look at who's in power now, Boris Johnson, multi-millionaire, Rishi Sunak, literally billionaire father-in-law, yeah, they're is. probably not going to close these loopholes. And, you know, it, it really makes me worry about what's going to happen. Well, this is uh, these Pandora Papers. Uh, they, they come after the Panama Papers, don't they? Uh, these consist of 12 million documents from 14 financial service companies uh, in countries including the British Virgin Islands, Panama, Belize, Cyprus and the United Arab Emirates, Singapore, Switzerland, all over the world. Uh, and these people's money swirls around the world, getting involved in various schemes, saving them here, saving them there. Uh, this is a window into the rich people's tax system, isn't it? Yeah, look, you know, I've been working in this sort of tax justice area for a while now, and nobody works in this area is surprised. You know, it's, you know, you mentioned the Panama Papers. There was also the Paradise Papers in between. I mean, if you work in this area and, you know, I talk to economists, but also tax accountants and tax lawyers, the fact is the super rich, they pay very low rates of tax because they can't. Um, they, they pay for good tax advice that lets them know how to do it, but also politicians are not closing the loopholes. So, you know, we're getting again and again, revelation after revelation. Um, it's not a surprise to people who work in this area. The fact is super rich people, very rich people, millionaires and billionaires pay much lower rates of tax yeah. than you or me or the listeners. Because they can afford uh, extremely expensive accountants who know how to use these financial service companies around the world. But also, I think that, uh, would you agree uh, with me, Gary, that, you know, for example, Amazon doesn't pay very much tax here, nor does Facebook, nor does Google. They all don't pay all that much. I think that's because the government doesn't want to make uh, conditions difficult for them. Uh, they want to encourage them to be here so that there uh, are big uh, companies uh, prospering here. They employ a lot of people. In other words, they turn a blind eye to the fact they get away with murder when it comes to their taxes, right? Well, I think that there's two separate things here, right? There's one low corporation of taxation, uh, low taxation of corporations, sorry, and also low taxation of individuals, right? And we have to ask ourselves, why do the government do it? And um, they often do suggest, you know, we need to attract these companies to be here, to do business here. Um, but often I wonder if these people are not paying tax and they're generating enormous amounts of income, you have to wonder what are they really contributing to our society? You know, companies like Amazon, they end up producing extremely low paid jobs and these very wealthy individuals who make enormous incomes and pay extremely low rates of tax often the net effect of what they do is they push our house prices up and they make housing unaffordable to ordinary people um so you know i'm strongly trying to message to politicians that you, you need to do something about this because if you don't tax these people who are taking a huge chunk of our national income you end up doing things like raising national insurance which is raising tax on ordinary people ordinary workers earning 20 25 30 grand a year who often don't have much left over. Yeah, I tell you, uh, and of course, uh, Putin uh, uh, emerges from this as, frankly, uh, a crook, to be honest with you. And they say he might be the richest person in the world. He's siphoned off so money <laughs> over the years. Uh, well, hey, well, he can try and sue if he, if he wants, but he won't. Um, uh, so, yeah, I mean, we have a massive problem here, and I just think somewhere or other something needs to be done about it. Gary, wish we could have a lot longer to talk about it, but perhaps.